one another. What an honor to be here now in this time. And this is all revealing itself when the layers are falling away where the truth will come to bear. Our humanity unites and become truly spacefarers in the essence of unity and love. It will take some time, of course, but it will happen. In my time, there were so many restrictions and limitations set upon us to hide the truth, to mask operations with operations. But some people, because of fear and control, and that they thought they had a right to know more than others. And also because of ego, because of greed, because of information, this power, you can say, at least the illusion of power. All power is illusions because if you really have power over someone, then you don't have it at all because you let all flow by its free will. The power comes from unity and heart where you stand together and create together. That's where the true power comes. And that's what at least I learned during my time on the planet. Yes, I got to see many fantastic, amazing places and things that many of you don't get to see or hear or touch. Although I'm proud of my life, of myself, I do kept my oath in many ways. Although it was hard sometimes to keep all the, well, secrets as you call them here it complicates things and it's only meant to let someone control others and let them have the information for themselves although there is more complexity behind all of this yeah i'm neil armstrong i'm not here to reveal everything for you but I can at least confirm that what this one is doing is correct in this age of time. And that you are not being told <clears throat> the full truth that as many things are being hidden for you because of ego, control, lack of unity, you can say. Yeah, I'm sorry, this one needed to sneeze, so sneeze, <laughs> how to compensate there. Well, on our Apollo missions to the moon, we did see extraterrestrial spaceships. They were following us all the way. We even took pictures of them, videos. Not the best technology, but they were more than capable of showing the truth. And they landed with us. They even come up to greet us, but they also told us to shun away. Telepathically, we didn't have any business there, but they acknowledged our... Well, what can you say? 
that we had come so far. To land on the moon with our limited technology although there were programs going on in the darkness or black projects and these apollo missions were really only layers to hide what was really going on with all their spaceships and technology which we had gathered since 1947 and the CIA was also developed a couple of months after the Roswell so they hold the true power with NSA and other uh, corporations which have grown out of these technologies it's all being kept secret it's a maze of coincidences and truth which has come together to create this the layers and depths of it can only be known if the true people come forward and tell the truth but many has come forward but the humans the humanity is so brainwashed and controlled by technology that it takes true courage and wisdom and also a brave soul to awaken and see through the layers of lies and deception which has been given and created around you humans there are also extraterrestrial influence here which has their own interest in mankind and some of them are from <coughs> theoretically Although, they see that we are growing, that there are so many interests of light here which has come to help that they do not hold any true power other than our own free will which we give them. But they have learned us a lot and they are not in their essence hostile. They are just playing their own game because they find us interesting. And we ourselves as often, with our free will, given them the power which they hold upon us. Because of fear, because of beliefs. So they see us as a project, as something which they have been creating for a long time with others and that they really are us and we are them but we don't kind of understand it yet there are some of us which understands it but because of all the corruption and threatening which has been going on which is now releasing because the technology and the the new information and the new what could you say people coming into the agencies and the secrecy are more open and it is time to go on you can say to let the truth come out which is already have been out for a long time it's just that the ordinary people man don't believe in it but the evidence is all around it can't be hidden anymore so therefore it's also a movement to drip feed humanity to kind of create a balance uh, where we all meet in the middle where we can talk about this and forgive each other and also go on move on some may not like the truth others will of course welcome it like this one and some are not ready yet because they are being manipulated for too long and their belief systems will also crumble under this truths 
of the extraterrestrial agenda and also the technology which NASA and other corporations hold on and been designing and remanufactured, you could say. I'm sorry, I have problems getting the right words out of this one, but it is how it is. Yes, back engineered. We have even been shooting down spacecrafts to back engineer them and because we could and that someone said that saw that there was no big retaliation. There was some, of course. They have their own ways of defending themselves and they have the right to defend themselves because they do not really come here in hostility they come here to study us and to teach us something and at the same time see how we fear because we are their creation so all this is known of course by the high elite by the secrecy which goes on behind locked doors you can say although there is a unity a common sense that among the researchers and the engineers in these environments the corporations which work together on the compartmentalization that there is only unity which can bring the humanity forward and that we stand together that we go on together that we share this technology with the public so that humanity can free itself and earth can also clean itself up because we are destroying the planet now and but some of the well what can you say we all have karma we all have things that we like to do interests some unfortunately like to do and bring in darkness over others that has been seen now for tens of thousands of years on this planet and in a polarity you can also say that it is what it is it is ah oh, valid experience which has been said so many times before here that if it can be it often will be so but the real uh, essence here is to forgive those which has done these crimes of humanity and that if it really was a chance for it to happen it could happen and it happened here in this timeline on this earth in this dimension but if you can come together and discuss this with open hearts and light and love there is hope for all of you for all of humanity and all the extraterrestrials too to see that humanity can be that which unites us and brings us all together you could say and that what was also what was meant to be with humanity. Although some agendas, some extraterrestrials have gotten the freedom to get their own agenda over us. Because often the light will respect free will and will respect that there are differences in thought processes, interests and how it all works because we all are different souls, we all are different beings, we are all are different part of the galaxy, solar system, history, how it all has come together, 
agreements, politics. There is very much happening out there too, which affects humanity and the population. Yes, as we went back to Earth, we kept this mostly for ourselves, but Edgar has been, of course, talking about this for a long time, that there are extraterrestrials, and what we saw of the... I kept mostly for myself and respected the oath which I had taken of course, there were fear involved, prosecution, and also threats. But these are releasing the new generations, are letting these things go. There are, of course, still reptilian interests and grey interest agendas, tall blondes. With more insectoid, of course, but the main influence of the federations are of love and light. Although they do respect the free will, but there has been reasons to take up arms, to defend oneself, to set a standard and say that enough is enough. And. Earth and humanity hold so large potential to become something great in the galaxy, in the universe. So why not bring it forward, bring it to thought and tell the truth, come together and share that amazing technology which we hold on and which can change everything on this planet in an instant. Yes, I was waiting for the right channel to do this with. And this one holds a heart and also a true passion which comes from the light and planets of light out there and true love from the Creator. But he also holds dark sides and ego, but you all do, you are all are not one or another, you all are everything included. You all are yin and yang. Has been told so many times, it's you who takes the choice of your free will. And there, in your free will, and your choices, and with the love, you hold the key for the future of humanity. I want to bring out a message to support this one, to subscribe to his channel, subscribe to his Patreon page. He is sick, he has a sickness which, well, can bring you on your knees and is a serious sickness. He is fortunate to have a mild variant for this time. He has this medicine, but he's going through a hard time. He's going through much pain for humanity to be in the forefront, to show an example for you all, that if you dare if you are brave, if you stand forward and talk, if you wish for a change, you can have that change within you and also outside of you. But of course there are going to be tests, there are going to be parts
hearts which swear you will have to take choices, hard choices and also where you have to let go of much of your ego and your hate and think differently you have to arise and grow in frequency so there are belief systems and illusions that you have to let go of but they are still there you can still of course do whatever you like the knowledge and true heart will never go away you have to take it in steps as this one has seen the lights in the sky on many occasions seven eight times maybe more sometimes he has seen things that was really extraterrestrials but he didn't know what to make of it so there is more maybe over ten times and there has been contact going on in the dream stages from he was small his nose bleeding can be traced back to insectoid and also bird-like creatures but also Orion Zeta of children there's a reason why this talks so freely and fluently and for so many he is the ambassador of Orion he was chosen and chose to come here in this age to awaken many of you as he himself has been awakened by others yes there's a lot of contacts coming in here it's okay it is meant to be and so it will also be yes I have it fine here from the other side and I can really see what many of you are going through in this time it is not easy to be on the forefront of disclosure and to bring out that higher frequency of love to humanity but we salute you for your bravery and also for the love you give to so many I wish I could have the courage to stand up but I was too deep into it and respected my oaths I will rather do it in this way it's an honorable way to do it Yes, we have bases on the moon. We have technology which can take ET home, which has been said. The best technology is kept for their secret programs. We have UFO technology, which would change the world instantly. But it is kept secret by corruption and of oats traditions you can say but it is crumbling there is resistance going on and the future for humanity is bright it is so bright that it scares some of the creators because even in the highest densities there are some interests of what is what to be but there shines also the true love the true light which you all are which is being hidden for you down here there are interests 
in every corner of the universe. But the true interest is for humanity to become a loving race and an example for others to follow so that creation can become one again. You all are the same light. You just need to awaken and re remember it. Much love from Neil Armstrong. <clears throat> To be a man which has experienced so much and been able to be a pioneer on the forefront of exploration in space. I do honor and salute those which go on my path. It is a beautiful experience. Much love to my friends, family, and to this one for making this possible. Much love, Neil Armstrong signing off. Wow. Oh. Oh. Much love.